Hello guys, welcome to my video. Today I want to talk about physics law in rugby. Tackle in rugby. We can see this second law of motion through tackles. According to this law, the larger the mass, the larger the force. So the bigger the player, the harder the hit. But the faster the acceleration, the larger the force. So the faster the player, the more powerful the hit due to momentum. Newton's third law state that for every force, there is an equal and opposite force being exerted. People rarely think of it, but how does a person run? Most people would say a person push their feet off the ground and propels themselves forward. But in reality, the earth push back up on your feet with the exact same amount of force. The only difference is that the earth's mass is much larger than yours, so it doesn't move and you do. What propels the person is the equal force being act on you from the earth. The earth push back on the player, which in turn push the person forward. Although you can only see the person move, the earth exert the exact same amount of force on the person. The mass of the earth is just too heavy for a person to move. In rugby players are constantly running and so the physics behind Newton's third law apply to rugby as well. In elastic collisions, not all collisions are elastic. In totally inelastic collisions, momentum is also conserved but after the collision, both bodies move together in the same resultant direction. Most collisions in rugby are almost totally inelastic. Both players move in the same direction after the collision. That's all from our videos. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Bye.